For sure. Stop playing, bro. Oh, this is good. Stop playing. Damn. Okay. Stop playing, cuz. Okay, I Damn. got I got coconut. That shit good to the Damn, motherfucker. Mm, Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Yo, 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 we back in the building, man, for another episode of the Beards Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. Everybody loves BBW, man. Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Once again, we are brought to you today by First of the Day. So we'll be drinking out of these sifters uh, on today's show. Uh, today, we uh sliding down to Tennessee, though. We got some chattanooga whiskey right like you thought i just made that name up but this is actually the name of the bottle uh angry principal came up with this uh idea actually we were going we were we were going to crack it at first and then we was like you know what let's just save it for the show so uh angry principal like uh tell us a little bit about chattanooga whiskey all right so i've had chattanooga whiskey before okay on my runs down south, I happened to see it one time a few years ago. Right. And grabbed a bottle mainly because the old man is from Chattanooga. So uh-huh. I was like, Makes man, let me grab something right. you know, from where he's from. You gotcha. Loved it. Okay. Love, absolutely loved it. And they just started selling it up here about two years ago. Okay. okay. So so you are able to find it in Michigan if you happen to be in Michigan. Thank God, because Michigan be funny about shit. No, they do. Yeah. 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 So, um, I wonder why they did. This expression is 111 <clears throat> okay. proof, and it says high malt. It's a high malt, Tennessee high malt. The mash bill is yellow corn, malted rye, caramel malted barley, and honey malted barley. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, their whole uh, germination period, they basically wet the grains, mm-hmm. let them germinate just a little bit, mm-hmm. then they put it into the fermentation process. Yeah, so okay. it's, a, yeah. it's a little bit of a process that they go through, but it's a high malt. Um, it's not 100% of one grain, but it's a mix of several. So, gotcha. um, corn I'm kind of excited. I, I'm like, excited to see what this one is about because yeah. I've, I've only had the lower proof expression. Gotcha. So, I'm, I'm interested what the cash strength is going to be. And I'm a Scotch fan, so you say hi, Mark. Like, <laughs> <"Ooh." laughs> First thing you caught your eye. Huh? Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to see. So, we got a nice little corn and honey mix going on. Uh, what is going to taste like? Cream of corn. <laughs> well, they do. Now, they do have the Chattanooga Whiskey 91. Okay. And that's 91 proof, the same mash bill. Okay. So, mm-hmm. we're, what we're getting is the cash strength version. Gotcha. Of All the right. same mash bill. So, they do have a couple of things. And it looks like a real cork from here. But they are a real craft distillery. Like mm-hmm. a lot of different types of, of their liquor. It's, I'm looking at the website like, wow, that's a lot of different expressions. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. You may want to check them out. Check out the website, see what's, what's going see on. See what different expressions yeah. are. And right. it's a dope-ass bottle, too. Yeah. 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 You're taking somebody out with this. <laughs> all right, look at the bottle. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, that bitch is thick. Yeah. <laughs> Man, like, you can see her ass from the front. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know how she, like, when they be walking, like, you know what I mean? Like, that, I see her ass from the front, boy. Man. <laughs> Oh, this has been a day <laughs> already. Already. All right, pause for for his ass. That's a weak ass. Oh man, <laughs> that's a weak pop though. That's a weak pop. That's a weak pop, right? <laughs> Dad, I, got, I had too many expectations you. going into it. I guess. <laughs> right. Yeah. Give me about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a day! <laughs> I will tell you what, though. It's hella dark skin, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little, little, little yeah. baby yeah. been in the sun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, a minimum, drop. it's a minimum of two years old. Okay. Oh, that um, shit dark. Yeah. Damn, that shit dark. That shit dark like fucking brandy. You got the no. cork? Yeah. yeah. Over there uh, somewhere. There you go. Real cork, though. Yeah, real cork. Well, Surprisingly, that it sound like that. Top to bottom, real cork. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Completely real cork. Yeah. I, smell, I smell the cocoa on the nose. But I can't smell nothing else. I get that maltiness like immediately. Yeah, I'm I getting, get it. Yeah, I'm that's that Scotch malt. I'm getting cherries on the smell. Mm-hmm. Cherries too. Yep, yeah, getting cherry. Yep. All right. Ooh man, yeah. it's, it's some alcohol in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's some alcohol in that motherfucker for sure. Stop playing, bro. Oh, this is good. Stop playing. Damn. Okay. Stop playing, cuz. Okay, Damn. I, got, I got coconut. That shit good to the yeah, motherfucker, man. I'm not a man. coconut what? fan. 
but this is good. No, I'm saying that's good to the motherfucker. I get like cherries, but like cherries are dark that. chocolate covered yeah. motherfucking dark cherries. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's, that's that's what that's I get. What like, what I, I didn't mention it, but that's one of the first things that they put in the chocolate covered cherries. No, no that's, yep. it. No, that's, that's it. it, bro. That's like, it for real. So it also says coconut, and I taste it as soon as I put it. But I it's not off putting to me. And normally, right. I don't like anything yeah, that same time. here. Yeah. I'm like, it's just subtle enough, yeah. right? Yeah. Some good ass Valentine's that came. Oh, I fuck with this. <laughs> What's the price point on this? This was fifty. Okay. Shit. What? Yeah, right at fifty. Yeah, that, that might be doable. Nice little long finish too, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice little burn around the tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. the size of your tongue. I'm just, How it is? Fitness. One eleven. One eleven. Okay. Shit. Yeah, I like this. I gotta like this shit. Mm. Yeah. That, everything that I've had from Chattanooga. Um, Distillery has been really good, and this is definitely the cherries. Yeah, definitely the cherries. Yeah. Dog, dog, say get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fucking playing. He said, "Quit fucking yeah, this playing." Is it, right. <laughs> this is good. One eleven. Yeah, One eleven. Nice little long finish though. Still. Cool. Ain't right. Size of the tongue though, definitely. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> almost like you that first chew of a big red. Yeah. Right. That's what it tastes like. Damn. That's just that's a yeah, point that's right there. That's, no perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I can't it's put it no better than that. A big rig. That's perfect. Damn, you right though. Bro, I ain't thought about yeah. that. You niggas need these analogies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I fucks with this though. I like it. Is it is it any is it reminiscent of scotch at all to you though? Cause I, no, it's it not be, really with, man, with like, I can I can like I can smell the malt, but it's not like peaty. You yeah, know what I mean? Not, it's definitely not that. Yeah. But like no, it, it's no. Mm -mm. Whoever blended this one, good job. No, I'm this talking excellent. about they got a PhD in mixology. Yeah. For real. <laughs> it's excellent. still it's still <laughs> finishing, bro. This is okay. No, I'm gonna right. try to cigar yeah. with it. I'm with it. I'm gonna have to light me another one. Shoot. <laughs> is that your went through your shit? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. There's some fire on my shit. I'm probably bringing out the Cubans today. Well, it definitely brings out the char. Yeah, I figured it would. And the char. Give me a little hoyo. Yeah, it brings oh, up the You on your Cuban game today. Cuban game today. Oh. I gotta put some more fluid in there. Yeah, it's a, this is a good pairing chocolate. with a cigar. Yeah. Very good pairing with a cigar. Yeah, this is dope. Look, Not, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I've been smoking this uh, King of Space for the last three weeks. And this stuff <laughs> is really good. It's been for the last three weeks. Yeah, yeah this this stuff is a long, long smoke. So if you ever get a chance to get a hold of a King of Spades cigar, mm -hmm. um, definitely do it. And were, were they were they black on? Yes. I thought they were. Yeah, they were black on. Yeah, for sure. I said, it's out of Houston, I thought it was. Houston or, or Atlanta. One of the so two. One or the other. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just, I'm just playing with y'all, right, bro. Playing. You know, you know it's neat. Detroit mother, you know, we be joking and shit. <laughs> right, you gotta tell the nigga you playing. Hell yeah, just playing. You know. <laughs> Alright, so look, you got our, our preliminary uh, analysis. Do some good shit. It's good. Do some good shit. I fuck with this right here. But yeah. we gonna go to commercial break real quick, man. Make sure that you uh, like, share, and subscribe even while you watching this show right now. Mm. Alright, make sure you do that. We'll be back on the other side of the uh, commercial break. We're gonna give our one to five Black Power Fist ratings. Uh, we'll be right back after this. You already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. We'll be right back after this. This is complex, too. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. And we're back. You already know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is back, man. Angry Principal in the building. My man Bo holding it down. And of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Let's get back to it, dog. So look, while we was going to commercial break, Angry Principal decided to drop a couple of little drops of water in there and see what happens to it. So let the people know what happened. Completely opened this up. I yeah. mean, it went to the spice. Just It brought out every single piece of spice that you could have yeah. so if you are 
somebody that likes that rye, mm-hmm. spicy mm-hmm. taste. Now, if you throw just a couple drops of water in it, you really yeah. get that taste. For sure. Uh, it, I mean, it went tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, everything. To was, everything. Yeah. Where before it was just on the side of my tongue. Exactly. Yeah, so now it's talking about. My, everything got hit with that, that spice taste when I put a little bit of water in it. And so look, this always goes back to what we always say about uh, whiskey and bourbon drinkers. Like, drink it how you like in real life. Oh, yeah, so. don't, don't try to drink everything straight and think that you're getting all the complexity of the, of the palate. Because a lot of times, adding, adding a little bit of ice or a couple of drops of water will actually change the the taste profile. So give it a shot sometimes. Make sure it's like bourbon water, though. Don't, not, not tap water. Like, and they actually sell bourbon water. You can go to Amazon and buy it and shit. Right? Thanks. Yeah, for sure. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Just learn something. Don't use tap water. Too many minerals and all that shit. It's going to make it taste completely different. Hey, so I'm curious. What the fuck is in bourbon water? It's, it's almost like distilled water, right? Gotcha. It's, it's, okay. just, it's, it's completely just natural. Ain't nothing it's almost in like that spring water. Ain't nothing in that motherfucker, right? Okay. Yeah. I got you. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. All right. So now we know. Now we know. <laughs> right. So we're going to get down to the rating system, though. All right. So, Bo, we're going to start with you this week. Uh, mm-hmm. One to five, Black Power Fist rating. What you giving it, dog? One to five. Sure I give it a four, man. Yeah. Um, dog say, get the fuck I was, out of yeah, here. I was thinking, I was thinking four. He was turned up. Uh, I thought about four and a half, and I was like, no, nah, I think it's in that four arena, man. Like, uh, like so, I enjoy it obviously, but like, I think this is something like you know, if it's getting cuffing season right now, right? You know, so mm-hmm. like, if you if your old lady, you know. It's something that she could drink too, right? Mm-hmm. The next thing you know, you're watching Netflix and it's like, are you still watching? You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> are you still watching? Hey, go ahead, <laughs> fellas. Good in- hey, I'm telling you, good investment. It is a good investment, though. Hey. And, and the price point you say was 50? Like 50, I believe. No, you can't beat that. No. Not, not no, for this cost. No. Like, you, you literally can't beat mm-hmm. that, for real. Yeah. I, I think the, the price point kind of even sets it off even more. Uh, Anchor Principal, what'd you say, though? I want to buy four and a quarter because of the price point. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And the fact that it's, it, it, it keeps you guessing. Yeah, yeah dude, you know, it's complex as hell, man. The dark chocolate cherries is right on the top. Yeah, it's right on the top. The subtle coconut, but then all that spice when I threw that water mm-hmm. in there, I'm getting yeah. four and a quarter. This is a, this is a, this is gonna be a go. This is damn good, man. I will wind up yeah, buying good. another bottle. I will revisit this definitely. Mm-hmm. I'll go to this before I go to the, the lower points. For sure. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely okay. going this again. I feel you. All right, so I, I'm I'm along that same lines. Um, I'm gonna give it a four. Um, not honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Like I, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think I had an expectation because I've never had any of the Chattanooga whiskey expressions. But just off the uh, off the taste of it, though. It gives me everything that that I enjoy, right? So that's going to be that that chocolate sweetness, even the even the the fruit sweetness of the cherry, the cinnamon. Honestly, was something that I I never even knew that I wanted. <laughs> like you know how sometimes you find shit. The big red analogy. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. dead on. Perfect. And like sometimes you experience shit that you never even knew that you needed in yeah. your life until you experienced it. Right. And this is the one right here. So I'm gonna go get go ahead and get at a four. Um, like three Puerto Rican chicks on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never I, knew I needed that or I wanted it. <laughs> First of all, I'm not going to say that I didn't know that I wanted that. <laughs> I, mean, I may have already wanted that. Because I, I can handle two, but three is, a, that, that, might be a little, that might be a little greedy. You know what I mean? Yeah, three yeah, is greedy. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but hey, you only live once. You only live once. YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So we got two fours and a four and a quarter, dog. Um, I, think, I think we are all pleasantly surprised. Uh, at the uh, the flavor profile, the complexity of Happily it. Happily surprised. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So like, I, it's a it's a go it's a go to for me. Like, this is definitely a thumbs up. Um, again, this is one of those ones. I think just like last week we talked about Detroit City Distillery. Like, I'm gonna yeah. have to hide this from myself because <laughs> like this is just gonna be like, oh yeah, today is Tuesday. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 that good though. And, and like I said, if you are, um, if you have a, a palate similar to mine where kind of the cocoa or the chocolate sweetness has worked for you. Like, I think this is in perfect tandem with the cinnamon. Like, you could have never told me that those two would go together. Yeah. Like, you could have never told me that shit. But mm-hmm. it, it does. So it, it really works out. Shout out to uh, Chattanooga Whiskey. I I haven't had any, any of the other expressions, but now having this one is going to make it hard for me to try any of the other <laughs> ones because it's got to live up to the 111 yeah. at this point. And again, it is 111 proof, so be yeah, careful. that's one. That's one of the bottles you put put away when people come over. You For know sure, I mean? yeah. yeah. Or when that special one come over and you yeah. want to see if Netflix is going to ask you if you still watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On that note, we up out of here, man. Thank y'all for checking us out. Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe and comment below if you, it's some whiskeys or bourbons that we haven't done on the show that you would like us to take a look at or if you think we full of shit that too like, if you just want to say y'all some whole ass things <laughs> put it in the comments <laughs> I might actually respond you never know I, I am going to respond I'm always up for debate yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> up for debate right we out here man until the next time you already know what it is man everybody loves BBW that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast my man, Angry Principal, off camera. Drink what you like, how you like, especially this. This is good. This is good. Uh, got my man Bo in the building. I say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red Zone, baby. First of the day. You know what it is. <laughs>